Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so quick video here. Um, let me tell you how I would um, do things if I was president on day one. Um, and I'm going to just talk about, um, you know, the financial aspect of it. And because, you know, that's what I do on, you know, on YouTube and Patreon and everywhere else. So um, Kamala Harris and you know, wants to uh, raise taxes and do all this stuff and, and um, you know, and all the borders and all the crazy stuff. Donald Trump wants to, you know, continue to print and print and print and lower the dollar. Kamala wants a low, weaker dollar for, for the corporate America as well, right? So I would, uh, if I was president on day one, I would sign an executive order that the Federal Reserve cannot print another dollar unless they get permission from Congress. They will only be able to print if Congress approves. And I sign off on it. I can veto it as well, right? If I think it's foolishness, right? So I would have veto power to veto um, whatever their request is, but they they can't print another dollar on my day one. I would sign an executive order that the Federal Reserve cannot print another dollar without the approval of Congress and my signature. That would stop a lot of corruption immediately, wouldn't it? Why wouldn't, why doesn't Donald Trump do that? Why won't Kamala do that? That's something to think about, right? Because I would do that. That would, that, I mean, that's common sense, right? So I don't want the feds to own it all. I don't want the feds to continue to get more powerful. I want small government and power to the people. Well, these people want big government and power to the feds and we and, and slaves of the people, right? I mean, look at their policies, right? So um, that's what I would do on day one. Why would why doesn't Trump? Why isn't anybody telling Trump to do that? Oh, Trump can't do that apparently, <laughs> right? And, and this is this is where I disagree with with Dorsey and uh, and other people that are saying Trump's not part of the establishment, because if he wasn't part of the establishment he would do this. I mean, that's common sense, right? Um, Donald Trump is going to play his part in the, in the, in the establishment. He's going to play his part, right? He's playing his part. It's this world of stage. Donald Trump is playing his part. That's all he's doing. Just like, um, what's the, what's the guy's name over there in Russia playing his part. There's always duality. In, in the in the secret society Illuminati is duality. People have to play their part, right? Just like when Christ had his disciples, they played their part. He had to have a deceiver. They had they had to be a traitor, right? They all had to play their part for Christ to be able to do what he did on the on the tree, right? So, you know, and God made it like that. Right. So that there was going to be a deceiver and people had to play their part. It's the same thing when you look at the um, secret society. Some people have to play their part. They're all in the secret society, but people have to play their parts. They have to you know, There's going to be the good side, 
but it's not really good because it's still in the secret society. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's the, you know, and then there's the bad side, right? And, but some people like the bad side and some people like the good side. I think the good, I think the side is bad, you know, that floods and illegals, that, but some people think that's the good side, right? So it all depends on your mindset as well and what you are in the matrix, right? Just because I think something is is on the bad somebody's on the bad side doesn't mean you do you see how that works <laughs> some people think trump's on the bad side and obama clinton and and uh, kamala and biden they some people think they're on the good side because of their mindset and the, and the mind control that they they're under right in the matrix so it all depends on you know on how you see it and and and, and if you're under mind control, under the matrix um, system, if you haven't woke up yet. So don't get angry when people say that, you know, Trump's on the bad side or he's in this or he's in that, or this people are in it, because that's how they see it in the matrix and under their mind, under the mind control that they're under. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why I don't get mad when people say Trump's in the establishment, because he's playing the duality. He's playing the other. He's playing the good side. In my opinion, he's playing. He's playing. He's on the. He's on the. Um, I'm not even going to call it good, right? He's just on the other side, like Putin, right? They're, you know, they still want control. They just want it in a different way, right? They still want the things to happen. They're still leading. It's they're, they're still leading us into a into the Antichrist B system with digital technology and tokenized world. They're not stopping that. Right. Donald Trump is trying to stop a Fed dollar and the, the, you know, the digital dollar, the Fed digital dollar that's going to enslave everybody. He is trying, he is saying that he said that publicly, but we're still marching towards that. There's nothing he'll be able to do as we march towards a tokenized system. He's now for Bitcoin. Right. So. <laughs> right. So it's only, it's only going to be a matter of time where this, these things happen regardless. OK, so, you know, we can't get mad at people because of where they, they they're at and what they see they think they think trump's on the bad side and that's what they think at this point right they can always switch later if they think that biden's on the bad side if i think biden's on the bad side and trump's on the good side i don't even think there's a good and bad side on this thing i just think everybody's playing a game everybody's an actor uh in in in, in this uh political matrix right and the whole thing is to divide and conquer right divide america and then conquer it that's that's all they're doing and everybody's playing their part right and so what i would do as president day one is i would stop the federal reserves from printing any more currency they won't be able to print another dollar right unless they have authority from the uh, u.s uh u.s congress and my signature that would stop all of the money laundering and corruption going on around the world that will stop all these countries that depend on the dollar uh to start going back to their own currencies right and did stop their corruption stop the corruption around the world because all this printing does is just create corruption in all of these other countries right the money laundering all over the world look at the middle east just money laundering everywhere counterfeit dollars everywhere money laundering everywhere corruption everywhere in the middle east corruption everywhere in the eastern world right and that's because of the dollar that's what they use they use so i would stop the fed from print issuing and, and, and digitally and physically because they really don't do anything physically anymore right it's all digital i would i would stop i would issue an executive order that the feds cannot issue a another single digital dollar or physical dollar without my permission in the u.s congress and that would wipe out a lot of the freaking corruption around the world right and um and, and if the feds do not obey every single time they do not obey what we would do is we would we would um we would penalize them and that money would go to or towards free medicare and then the next time they they, they do it they do it with our permission it we will go to free um what what's the other one medicare and medicaid and medicare okay yeah uh, the other one, both of them and then we will do free health care and then we will, every time the feds print, we would punish. 
them. They would have to, you know, we, we, they would have to then, um, some of that money would go towards free Medicare, free health, um, health care, uh, Medicaid, Medicare. Um, it would go towards, um, uh, homelessness, um, buying up, buying shelters and putting, uh, homeless people in shelters and rehabilitating them. Stuff, that stuff they should be doing already. Hello, they've printed $200 trillion over the last 10 years. Why do we still have homeless people? Why do we still have Medicaid? Why, why do we still have, have to pay for health insurance? Why is our, why is our car insurance is $900? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why are these things still happening? Why is, you know what I mean? So it's just ridiculous, right? Um, we're, 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 we're pumping a lot of oil and, and, and we're not getting oil revenues from it. We're not getting a, we're not getting a, a dividend check every, every month for oil. Something I would do as well, right? Open the pipelines up, pump, drill, and give American citizens um, a, the, the dividends off of that. It's not socialism because that's the profits of the oil. It's not government handing you a check and then enslaving you under them under themselves saying you better do what we say or we're going to take away your your monthly income that's socialism that's communism if you get you know in switzerland you know you get a you get the profit off the uh, off of the oil right iraq should be doing that right now they can't pass the oil and gas law to save their lives hopefully soon they will other some other countries do the same thing. You get a dividend or you get a monthly stipend from the profits of the oil revenues. That's not socialism. That's not communism. That's just profit off of because you're a citizen and they they pump a lot of oil. Okay, so that those are things that I would do immediately. Right, I would drill and I would and I would give the American citizens a divvy um, every month. They would receive a divvy. Could be. 50 bucks could be 100 bucks depending on how much the profits are it'll be i guess 10 percent would go to the american people and so it will maybe 30 percent. i'm not sure how 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 that would work we'll figure that out maybe 30 percent to american people so maybe you will get a thousand dollar check a, a month right i don't know 500 hundred dollar check a month for the for the oil profits right and and i will stop the feds from printing another dollar and they would only be able to print with my approval and congress approval Right. And if they are dis and we find out that they disobey, then um, they would have they would provide free health care. Then if they disobey again, they will pro provide free shelters and and rehabilitation for all homeless people in America. If they disagree, uh, disobey again, we'll find something else for them to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> they will fund the entire border, um, um, you know, borders uh, of America. Right. So. If you're gonna print money, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna build America back up, right? We're not gonna print to prop up the stock market. Who gives a crap? You know what I mean? We're gonna if we're printing, you're gonna print to to build the build uh complete the wall at the border so we can have a, a safe America. You are gonna you're gonna print to rebuild the infrastructure of America. You are going to build. You're gonna you if you print, you're going to um. And get all homeless people off the streets and 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 uh, and get them into shelters and rehabilitate them. And you're gonna pay for that. If you're gonna print, we're gonna rebuild our 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 um, healthcare system for free healthcare. If you're gonna if you're gonna print, we're going to rebuild our schools because our schools are outdated, and, and we're we're lagging behind in world ec education now. Uh, in many places for elementary, preschool, kindergarten, elementary, middle school, high school, college. I mean, it's crazy. I know we got a, we got some elite colleges. We got that. But overall, America's education system is awful. We will rebuild that as well, right? So if we're going to print. We're going to print to do the right things. We're not going to print so we can make America better so we don't have to ever print again. We're gonna and then if we and then if they keep printing, we're gonna we're gonna back we're gonna back our currency with silver. Right? We're gonna back our currency with silver, right? Back our currencies with gold, have half gold um notes, have half silver notes. Doesn't have to be full gold and silver, it could be half, it could be a tenth or a twenty percent gold, twenty percent silver. It'll be silver back, gold back, right? And then we can get off the Fed dollar that they just keep printing and printing and printing, so that's worthless. All right. So those are types of things that we would do. Right. Um, if the feds um, 
didn't obey. Right. Um, so that's that's my plan. You know, what I mean, I'm not I'm not running for president, but that's what I would do. I'm just and the reason why I'm putting this out there, because this is what Trump should be doing. If he's really a good guy, right, like a lot of you guys keep saying, right. I mean, here I am and I'm I, I don't talk to these people. I don't do I know more than Trump? I mean, he's the he's in there. He was president. He knows exactly what to do. So and he, we haven't heard this from him yet. He, he refuses to even mention the Federal Reserve, which is not even federal, by the way. They're not even a federal. They are they are an independent entity. They're not even a federal. They're not even part of the federal government. I mean, this is a scam at the highest level. The Federal Reserves are not even a federal. They're not even a federal entity. They are an independent body that can sit there corrupt and just print unlimited amount of fed dollars that we have to pay back in interest that's not even real currency so it's, it's an actual a debt that's crazy what type of what type of matrix are we in where the mind control got this bad that people in 1913 or whatever they, they created the federal reserve we're able to dupe people this bad. Say they're going to create an entity that's going to be called the Federal Reserve, but it's not fe actual federal and has nothing to do with the government. It's a it's a independent entity that's going to be able to print money, uh, U.S. dollars, and flood it uh, into the world. And it, and and it's not actual real currency. It's actually a debt that is owed back to the cent to the to the uh, Federal Reserve plus interest. And these people are going to accept it. They're gonna they're gonna throw away their gold and silver, which is real currency, and they're gonna take the federal dollars, the Fed dollars, the greenback Fed dollars of ours, and they're gonna worship it. That sounds like the that's like the mark of the beast, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So um, the whole world worships the dollar. <laughs> when I was growing up, the dollar was the dollar was controlled around the world by 90%. The dollar controlled 90% of the world. Doesn't that sound like the mark of the beast? <laughs> you know? Uh, so it, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But anyway, that's what Donald Trump should be doing if he's actually a good guy. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Because, uh, you know, if Donald Trump was actually a good guy, that's what he would do. He would end the Fed by forcing them not to be able to print. And if they print any more money, they, he would punish them by making them, forcing them to pay uh, for Medicare, at forcing them to pay for Social Security, forcing them to pay to rebuild bridges and in the infrastructure of in America, forcing them to pay to finish the the the, uh, the borders, forcing them to pay uh, for for to upgrade our school systems. That's what he would do. Not sit there and same thing with Kamala and let the feds print unlimited amount of money. And we don't even know where that money is gone. Where did all that money go? A lot of it went into the stock market, but where's all the rest of it? You know, it's just vanished out of thin air while our school systems are destroyed. While we have to pay, while Kamala wants us to pay 45% in, <laughs> in capital gains taxes with 25% unrealized gains and then 28% in corporate tax. <laughs> Can you imagine living under that? That you would be bankrupt. Like it all, small businesses would bankrupt them, would be bankrupt. People wouldn't even trade. I mean, can you imagine wanting to trade? I don't want. I don't want to trade at forty five percent taxes, capital gains. That and so that that's long term. What is your short term capital gains tax? My God, sixty percent. Forty five percent is for long term capital gains tax, folks. Not short term. So if I did a trade on on TD Ameritrade or something, in one day I would have to pay sixty percent in short term gain. So I make a hundred dollars. I gotta give sixty to that, sixty percent of that to Kamala Harris. Am I stupid, or am I dumb? <laughs> right, so <laughs> I'm not doing either. Right, so this is the this is this is just ridiculous, and so this is where I disagree with a lot of people. 
that say that Donald Trump is part is is not part of the establishment. I believe he's definitely part of the establishment, and he's playing his part. He's just he's just in our minds he's on the good side with Putin and them. He's on the good side. Now Putin's Putin's really not on the good side either. I mean Putin's not really a good guy either. I mean the guy's communist, commie. Uh, you know what I mean? Like he's brutal, right? But compared to Hillary and Biden and Obama and Bush and them, he he's on the good side, right? Compared to them, right? We're comparing them to those people, right? So overall, you know, Putin's not a good guy, but he is compared to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and them and what they've done, right? Um, you know, um, so so that's all it is, is that people are saying, well, no, Trump's a good guy, so he's not part of establishment. No, Trump's part of establishment. He's just on the he's just on the duality side on the good and evil, right? And you on your in your brain, you you think he's on the good side. And somebody else's brain, a more liberal brain, they think he's on the bad side. And that's all it is. But that everybody's everybody's still playing their part in the establishment. Everybody's still playing their, their part. And that's all it is. And so that's why we need new people. That's why I keep telling you guys, where are the new blood people that are not in this establishment stuff that are not family, that are not related, you know, that are not related to one another, right? These people are related to each other. That's, you know, and they bicker and fight and it's all bloodline. You got to have the world blue bloodline. Where are the people that don't have the lizard, that don't have the lizard royal blue bloodline, right? <laughs> they don't have the reptilian royal blue bloodline. Where are those people at, you know? Like let let's change this up, you know. Let's get some of those people in. Let's get some of those people some shine, you know. Uh, why should we trust reptilian lizard royal blue bloodline people? Like why? Why why should we keep trusting them when we see what they've done to the world? I don't understand it. Um, but I'll never understand it because people refuse to wake up, and many people are under retrobated minds, so they're never gonna wake up now. It's gonna take the act of God for them to wake up now. Right. So unfortunately, many people are probably going to die this way and they're going to, you know, what I mean, where they never wake up and they're and then they're going to be stuck in the matrix. Um, but we can't I mean, we can't save everybody. You know what I mean? So we have to just the people that have woken up, we can those are people that we can uh, work with and and, and try to, um, you know, continue to work with them and, and get them uh, to the levels that they need to get to and be able to fin um, complete their journey here on the earth before their time is up and they can leave a legacy and become a legend. Peace out, God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I gave you what I would do. Why wouldn't Trump do that same thing? I'm putting, I'm putting a challenge to Donald Trump. I'm putting a challenge out there for Donald Trump. Somebody send him this video. If you are really a good guy, you would do exactly what I just did, what I just said, right? You would you would stop the Fed from printing another dollar and you would on they would only be able to print unless you authorize it with U.S. Congress. Right. And and they need to be printing. And if they do print it's to help America, not enslave the people and make the feds more powerful. You know, what I mean, it's ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Anyways, peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Vote for me for president, I guess. <laughs> Bye.